drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos in this video we are going to study about alkynes first of all they are unsaturated hydrocarbon because they will have not the maximum number of hydrogen atom attached to it okay so they will have a carbon carbon triple bond okay and their general formula is cn h2n minus 2 and so the simplest member will be ethyne put value of n is equal to 2 then 4 minus 2 2 so it will be c2 h2 and it is also known as acetylene okay so like if you put n is equal to 3 then you will get c3 6 minus 2 c3 h4 this is propyne or its common name is methyl acetylene next let's discuss about the structure of the triple bond okay so in triple bond first of all the hybridization okay so uh, there has to be two pi bond so two p pure p orbitals will be there okay and between the two carbon atom there has to be a sigma bond there will be s and p hybridization so sp hybridized orbital one of the sp hybridized orbital will form a sigma bond among the two carbon atom and the other one will form a sigma bond with oneness of hydrogen atom okay so sigma bond is done now there are two pi bonds okay so one p orbital of a carbon atom will overlap sidewise with p orbital of another carbon atom in the same plane suppose if it is in the x plane so other one will be in the x plane and they both will be parallel and there will be an overlap similarly another one in the y plane py they will overlap to form pi bond so there will be one sigma bond between carbon carbon and two perpendicular pi bonds okay so we can see there is a sigma bond okay and now there there is one loop and this is another loop similarly there will be a loop in other side this is for the comparison is done with respect to that sp2 okay that is alkenes so in alkenes as we have seen there was one pi bond okay similarly if both the both side there will be pi bond so it will form one sigma and two pi bond okay next the nomenclature so it's simple just like uh, the alkane and alkene okay just the difference will be that in case of alkanes instead of in we will be replacing it by a suffix of y n a i n okay and rules will be almost similar first you have to form the longest carbon chain containing the triple bond okay then suffix remove in and put i n okay and the numbering should be done such that the triple bond should get the least number okay and subsequently we can indicate the position of the substituent for example let's see we we have to start from here because triple bond has to get the lowest number we can't start from this way okay so one two three four five five carbon pent position is first and triple bond so instead of n we will write i n similarly now one two okay so it is pent two i n now suppose there is an substituent so one two three four so four is but one position and then i n and the substituent is at position three so three methyl but one i n you can also mention it in front like 1 pentyne, 2 pentyne, 3 methyl, 1 butyne. Okay, both are acceptable. Next is 
isomerism in alkynes so they will uh, exhibit the chain isomer okay so in chain isomer the number of carbon in the longest carbon chain will be different for example in one pentyne and two pentyne there are five carbon atom in the longest carbon chain the chain is of five but in three methyl one butyne it is four so one and three they are chain isomers similarly two and three they are chain isomers because the number of carbon chain are different next is position isomer in it the position of the triple bond will be different like it is one pentyne and second one is two pentyne 